Hey everybody, welcome back to Durban's Bourbon. I'm Joe. And I'm Josh. Today we're going to be doing a review of a classic old scotch rat pack coming at you. Which I've never tried. Josh has never tried it. I bought it last night. I had me a little tipple. I was pleasantly surprised. This is J&B scotch. Blended scotch. Very old history, 1700s. Um, very popular with like Dean Martin and the Rat Pack. Some of you younger folks that might be watching. Who's that? Um, who's the Rat Pack? Some of you older folks. You're welcome. Um, classic old scotch. Been around forever. Not a lot of money. On sale. 21 bucks, I think it was. Uh, a $20 bill and you got yourself a fifth of scotch. Was that the... Is that the first time you tried it last night? Yes, yeah. it was. First time I tried it, I just poured it in a rocks glass. <clears throat> I went old school, no ice, no nothing. Thought I'd go kind of 1950s, <laughs> throw it in an old rocks glass, top it in there. And I was very I'm surprised excited. at how good it was. So much so that when I went back about 10 minutes later, I expected it to taste like shit. Wow. It did not. It was amazing. Um, <laughs> sorry. We changed our profile so no children should be watching this program. Oh. So there you go. Lawsuits. Curse away. Um, but we won't. We'll be professional. Uh, very good scotch. Uh, blended, like I said. Uh, proof wise, I think it is pretty low. 80, it, it is 80 proof. Yep. Um, Most blended scotches seem to be 80. Yeah, they are. Uh, there's a little peat on the nose I picked up last night. I'm curious today how it's going to taste compared to last night. Um, I'm hoping it's probably the same. Well, and we just had a we just had a bourbon, so yeah, it uh, should be quite different. Just even the nose is super <clears throat> fruity. It is. I noticed that too you got when some I peat nosed on it. No, I did. I got some peat. I can smell it now, and it's not even up there. But I do have more fruit, <clears throat> uh, like green peat. fruits. Uh, green apple and stuff yep. uh, from like you would get from a Highlands or mm -hmm. uh, space side or... a space side uh, scotches. But there's a little bit of there's a little peat in it there. It smells a lot like those your typical blended <clears throat> inexpensive scotches. To me, yeah. Like what was there? Uh, there's a space side one. I can't remember. I wonder if you have it. I think I gave you a bottle. Mm, you might have. It's like your scotch. Eh, anyway, it doesn't matter. It's just it has that same kind of nose as like right. a well, like a inexpensive. The Ron blend. Burgundy is yeah. a blended scotch. Maybe something like that. Um, maybe it might be comparable <clears throat> to maybe what a Johnny Walker Red Label would be, but I've never had Red Label that I can recall. I may have, but it, it's adult. not as an adult yeah i'm not it's not sticking out so i can't recall it so i don't want to compare it unfairly i get a little butterscotch fairly with that fruit little <clears throat> I think it's just like the sweetness yeah. yeah i could see that a little butterscotch a little honey yeah we are Scott? both sporting some swag from our distillery tours we're throwing Kentucky. a scotch at you yeah. Wearing a Henry McKenna bottle and bond hat. I love it. Buffalo Trace t shirt. We got a lot of it. stuff when we went to Kentucky. We did get a lot and of we're shred. reviewing a scotch. <laughs> there you go. You well, never you gotta know mix what it you're going to get from us. <laughs> Crazy. You're going to get humor, some information. And that's about it. <laughs> Good nose. Try, yeah. Florally. Yeah. Florally. Um, <clears throat> It is florally. 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 Is that a word? I think floral is. I like florally. florally. I like florally. Florally. Sounds like a girl you dated in high school. <laughs> florally. florally. She was sweet. <laughs> she was sweet. Yeah. All right. I'm ready to try. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Yeah. It's smooth. Good. First taste, kind of get the palate warmed up. Yeah, it's got your 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 fruits. There's a little depth to it. There is. <clears throat> I get a little chocolate. 
little. Yep, I can see that chocolate. I can, I can taste the peat smoke, almost like cigar smoke <clears throat> <clears throat> to me, like tobacco-y. Huh. The first, the initial. If I searched, I could probably, I, I could get that, yeah. I could see where you could get some tobacco. Um, <clears throat> but it's not like it's sweet not tobacco, it's like um, smoky. Yeah. It's like a good cigar smell. Which could be that. But not, but bare, like a hint. Whatever peated scotch they yeah. have blended in here, it's so subtle, but yet you can you can pick it up. So it's it's kind of fun. Yeah. It's kind of got a fun a fun bit of stuff going on in the That's mouth. That's a bad little scotch, man. <laughs> That's impressive for 20 bucks or whatever. Yeah, I actually texted Josh last night when I was trying it. And I'm like, dude, you are not going to believe this scotch. I did not expect the flavor profile to be <clears throat> like it was. I mean... I got a lot of dark chocolate. That's overpowering for me. Yeah, I can see that. <clears throat> yeah, there is some... A little bit of smoke, a little bit of camphor. Mm. The floral notes on the nose don't seem to no. carry over into the palate. But where the floral leaves off, you've got some of that chocolate. Mm. And then it's somewhat dry yep. on mid-palate. Doesn't linger very long. Nope, it's starting to dissipate already. But it is a very pleasant scotch. Yeah, I could, that's a good <clears throat> That's a sipper. You could put yeah. that on ice. Um, that would be a great <clears throat> uh, mixer if you wanted to, but it also stands alone. I mean, who to know? Who to know? <laughs> who to <laughs> Who to thought? The Rat Pack, Dean Martin, Sammy Davis Jr., um, good Frank grief. Sinatra. Frank Sinatra, and there was two other fellas that I'm not. I, I can't remember their names as well. That was part of the Rat Pack, um, <clears throat> but they were big fans of J and B. A lot of the folks from the 50s really were, mm -hmm. and it's kind of nostalgic. It's yeah. kind of got a nostalgic feel to you it when you're drinking it. You see that bottle all those old movies, you, you know, do. when they're drinking. And... So, it's kind of fun. It's a fun scotch. It I is. think it would be a good one if you're trying to branch into scotch, but the peat, those real strong peat phenols then stuff that really overtake, this would be a good one to start with, I think. I think so. The only thing I would say, I would think if you're getting into scotch... The scotch characteristic in it, like what makes scotch taste like scotch, is pretty heavy. <clears throat> so yes. if if you know you taste scotch and you're like, ugh, that's like I used to be. It right. Tastes like an old sock or something, yeah. you know? Uh, that might a be a tip. little harsh, uh, but maybe a little watered down or maybe in a highball or something. Mm -hmm. That's that's the only thing I would say. But if you do like scotch and you like the all like we like all avenues of scotch and right. enjoy them. It's a good, it's a good little scotch, man. It is. It, <laughs> Impressed. It tickled me quite a bit when I tasted it, and I'm like, I really I'm didn't. Feeling a little tickled now myself. <laughs> it's enjoyable. Um, we hope you all are enjoying the show. Remember to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, comment below. We will respond back, and we'll have a whole conversation if you want. Um, if you all have tried uh, J and B. Make some comments. What do you guys think? You mix it in highballs. How do you enjoy your scotches? And what kind of scotch do you like more than others? Um, or if I'm you're sure just there's a, folks out there that probably hate it, <laughs> there will be. Like be. You guys are morons. Yeah. How can you drink that? Everyone right? has a different palate. So. <clears throat> That's true. As scotch drinkers go, I would classify both of us as scotch drinkers. Mm -hmm. um, we're bourbon drinkers first and foremost, but uh, we both appreciate every whiskey that's out there mm -hmm. there isn't a whiskey that i will not try i right. can promise you there's one he will not try um I because of that <laughs> nothing um but you can sure. learn something from them all they all have such unique characteristics right. the regions they come from the um grains that are used the, the smoke process the process them, yeah. it's just every single one of them has an incredible story behind it and history behind it so they can all bring a lot to the table and when you appreciate them. that stuff and then you drink it you're always like oh, okay <clears throat> makes it a little more fun it and does sometimes it almost makes you i mean when we were doing our distillery tours when we were in kentucky i mean there were some some places we went and they were so nice and the people were so kind and amazing it almost made their whiskey taste better 
That's true. Right? Like, yeah. you're just like, wow, this, <clears throat> this place, I mean, feels like home and it's right. a huge business. And right. so <clears throat> that's the same thing with, I think, <clears throat> whiskey. If you if right. you know where it's from and how it's aged and right. whatever they're doing, and then you drink it, you're like, oh, I can see. Mm -hmm. That's why that tastes like that. So it's yep. a fun journey it to is. try them all, that was I a, think. Yep, agreed. And that was a good tip, you know, when you're just doing distillery tours. Uh, the folks that we came in contact with were fantastic. Yes, they're I mean, amazing. We're going to be doing some Four Roses coming up. And those of you at Four Roses, oh. you three in particular that were tour guides, um, will be doing that shortly. And we appreciate you guys. Yep. You guys were awesome. You made us feel very at home. Uh, we had some good laughs and chatted a bit too. So it was a great, great experience. Yeah, that was a good one. <clears throat> so J&B <clears throat> blended scotch something in my throat gonna have to cleanse like it grandpa's cough syrup literally there's a grandpa's cough syrup <laughs> and i could sing now it's perfect uh jmb <laughs> scotch great value price scotch blended a little bit of everything in the palate and the nose much um, more depth than i thought yeah I have absolutely that chocolate note that josh commented on is really pre prevalent the more it sits and opens up it comes out a little more i'm curious what some ice might do to it mm. might be pretty good you never know um we hope you all are enjoying the channel hit the like and subscribe uh, make comments below and as always enjoy your whiskeys and bourbons any, any way you, you like. like cheers everybody cheers.